Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here in June. A very welcome, my friends, and especially my enemies. Come in, sit down, no touching. I don't do the touching. All right, come here, you. It's Sunday. I had a skin fall last night, so I don't really want to do a deep, drawn-out video. I want to look back at the DCEU so far and deem whether it's been a success or a failure. It's very, it's very interesting looking back at this franchise because when you compare it to other franchises, apart from Marvel, a lot of them have fallen in the first hurdle. They've just recently tried to reboot the Men in Black. Hasn't worked. Um, Universal tried to do a Monsters Universe with um, Russell Crowe and Tom Cruise. Russell Crowe and Tom Cruise! And it failed at the first hurdle. But the DCEU, despite teething problems, is still here. And it's still making money. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman all made money and all made a profit. Shazam made a profit. Um, Aquaman is the most successful film in, in the franchise. And it's the most successful film in the franchise because of James Wan and, and Jason Momoa. Because it was, you see, I come from an era where movie stars and big name directors made films. And they were always the reason you'd go to those films. They were great films. But we don't have many movie stars now. Jason Momoa is a movie star. Ben Affleck is actually a, a, an old-fashioned type of movie star. Gal Gadda is a movie star. We don't have many of them anymore. Um, so it's, it's very interesting. I, I would even say that Robert Pattinson, who's about to play the Batman, um, or start shooting and stuff like that for Matt Reeves, the Batman. He's kind of a movie star, but we don't have many of them. You know, your Brad Pitt's and your Robert De Niro's and your Pacino's. Um, we have invisible actors, really. Cardboard cutouts. It's not the same. So you look at Chris Hemsworth. He's not a movie star. He's proven it. He does well with the MCU movies, but when they push him to lead other movies, he fails because he doesn't have that je ne sais quoi to attract the movie audience. And then, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. You just have to look at the box office. And so you look at the DCEU. It's a very unique franchise and it's a very different way of doing superheroes. I think when you get to Justice League and you see that they had this really interesting, unique movie and they cut it to shreds and they wanted to marvelize it. And people still want to, you know, point fingers who's to blame. Jeff Johns, um, Kevin Sujihara. I will always put the blame at Kevin Sujihara's door. Jeff Johns absolutely wanted an optimistic, marvelized DCEU franchise. But the people I speak to, the insiders I speak to, said that Jeff Johns absolutely wanted Snyder's, Snyder's Justice League to be released. And then they could move him on and talk about Phase 2 being more optimistic, more marvelized. Which really is what we're getting. When you look at um, Aquaman and when you look at Shazam, they say, this is kind of your phase two now. We've had our phase one. And so when you look back at the DCEU, let's look at the box office. The box office isn't, oh my God, this is amazing box office. But most of these movies have made a profit apart from Justice League because of the bad decisions that Kevin Sujihara made. But when you look at the other movies, they're very good, unique solid movies, even to someone who's coming in from the mainstream, right? Batman v Superman is an acquired taste. I don't think that film was never made for the mainstream audience. It wasn't. And I'll keep on boring you about this if the studio in its marketing made it more blatantly obvious that it wasn't for the mainstream. More people would have been fine with it. But as I said before, when Man of Steel came out and said phase one is about is leading to the Injustice Superman, I think people would have been pumped and excited rather than say, ooh, too dark, why Superman like this? People would have gone, do you know what? This is how an Injustice Superman would be before he becomes the Injustice Superman. This is a great thread. This is a great arc. Henry Cavill's playing this the right way. Zack Snyder's doing this the right way. But they weren't honest about what they were doing. So as we look back at the franchise, I think marketing flaws can be attributed to some of the problems it's had. But if you look at the early Marvel films before Avengers Assemble, um, if, you, if you've heard some of the stories I've heard, the behind the scenes stories, 
you will laugh. And all of a sudden, Avengers changed everything because it was the first team up and it did well for them. And, you know, people enjoyed the movie and they haven't looked back since. And it's not like they've, they've broken the fourth wall with what they're doing. They're very generic, ordinary films, but the public like them. And there's nothing we can do about that. And also, those films have given Disney this reputation that everything that Disney does is amazing. So people always shoot off and watch their films. I don't know what happened with Solo and Star Wars Story. Well, I do, but that's a discussion for another time. So you've got this DCEU franchise. It's made money mostly, apart from Justice League, right? They've all made money. They've all been on a profit. And honestly, for me, they're films I will remember till the day I die. Um, and so we've got this thing with this fandom of ours because there's a lot of um, bloggers and critics who don't like our fandom, who find us rude. And I think the problem is, and I think um, Chris Wong Svensson from Ping Pong Flicks said it brilliantly when he did the interview with that journalist. And he said, some fans just don't know how to articulate their passion and frustration for what happened with Snyder's version of Justice League. So it comes out that they're, you know, it can come off the wrong way. But this fandom isn't full of bad people. This fandom is full of good people. It's just that people are extremely frustrated. And the longer Warner Brothers go on without, you know, pretending that this cut doesn't exist and thinking this problem will go away if they don't deal with it. And I think the more frustrated people can get. But I, I don't want people to get frustrated. I think people are doing the right thing. Um, the movement is, is, is brilliant. Raising money for suicide awareness is brilliant. It puts us in a great light. We want to see this film. Um, I have no doubt that one day in the future, we will see it. Um, I had a dream the other night that I was on Twitter and Warner Brothers said, we've heard you fans, we are going to release the Snyder Cut. Now, that, it, it was a dream, um, but what a beautiful dream. Because I love this franchise. This franchise actually looks like a comic book. Look at Wonder Woman behind me. That looks like that looks like it's taken from a, the panels of a comic book. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman. What Snyder did visually was beautiful. Great director, great films that look like they've leaked out of the comic book. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I think no one at the MCU is um, pulled that off. Yeah, they've de-aged Samuel Jackson. They've de-aged um, Robert Downey Jr. If you're looking about visuals, but the visual, visuals in the DCEU are absolutely phenomenal. It, it, it's the way a comic book set of movies should look like. But I want to throw this over to you. What do you think about the DCEU so far? Do you think it's a great franchise? Do you think it's a mediocre franchise? Do you think it's a load of rubbish? Um, what do you think? they should do next? And what do you think they will do next? I think we've discussed before about how each character will get his own universe. Uh, we've, we've, we've discussed this franchise within uh, the franchise thing, and I think that is very interesting, and I think this is what they're going to do. Um, we've already heard James Wan yesterday talk about what he's doing um, with the Aquaman franchise, and we already know what he's doing with the next movie as well. So that's very exciting. So each character will be franchises and universes. So you're going to have the Aquaman cinematic universe, hopefully a Superman cinematic universe. Jeff Johns is working on a Green Lantern cinematic universe. And this gives so much more potential. It's very different to what they're doing over at the MCU. But as I said, you can't do what they're doing. You can't because they stumbled upon it. Yes, they did the original origin movies, which was a better idea, really, than... I mean, we should have done it with the DCEU. We should have started with the individual character movies and bled them in, then did the Justice League movie. And I think that was a mistake. I think Warner Brothers know that's a mistake now. But I do feel the MCU and Feig stumbled onto their success. And once they realised they were successful, they thought, let's just keep on doing the same thing. That isn't rocket science. But... Um, they're getting away with it. Um, do I think that the DCEU will ever reach the success of the MCU? I don't think it will. I think there will be successful movies. I think there will be wonderful movies. But I never think that the whole of the mainstream audience will be showing up for them like they do for the MCU. But I think they're always going to be successful. I think what you're going to see is 
um, box office like like for Aquaman, a billion dollars, um, quite well reviewed, but not by everyone. But I think they're good, they're, they're, the bumps in the road we've had, like the controversy um, with Justice League and the theatrical cut for Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman, you won't get those situations anymore. They will be really good movies that we will appreciate as DC and DCEU fans, but I'd never, I don't ever foresee this becoming a franchise as successful as, as the MCU. And you have to ask the question as a consumer, should you care? As long as they make enough money, right, as long as the films are awesome and they make enough money to make another one, why should we care? It's not our pockets. It's not our money. And maybe it's time to wind our heads in and focus on the content.